11. Matthew 11 and verse 12. Reaction against limitation. It's what we are looking at in this first service. And from the days of John the Baptist up till now, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence and devoured, taken it by force. New Living Bible, message translation, please. Reaction against limitation. From the time John the Baptist began preaching until now, the kingdom of God has been forcefully advancing and violent people are attacking it. Next verse. Next uh, rendition. Message. Message rendition. For a long time now, people have tried to force themselves into God's kingdom. <laughs> the importance of reaction in our quest to breaking limitation is very crucial. It's an imperative necessity. Life is full of limitations. Without reaction, sir, a man's dream and aspiration can be buried. Without reaction, sir, a man's destiny can be limited by the battles of life. Where there is limitations, your emotions and spiritual energy is drained. Where there is limitations, your prophetic word will be resisted. Where there is limitations, there is the presence of contrary realities. Instead of settled down, you are unsettled. Instead of rest, you are restless. Instead of progressing, you are halted. The reason is simple. The limitations of life. Where there is limitations, sir, your problem will lack destiny assisting values. Destiny assisting values. That is why we must react. Because the limitations of life does not allow us to arrive at our full potentials. This is our month of breaking limitations. The inability of John to react limited him and he died like a commoner. Look at chapter 11 and verse 7 of the book of Matthew. We are with God from the days of John the Baptist. What battered that scripture? When John's followers left, Jesus began to talk to the people about John. He said, what did you people go out to the desert to see? Someone who is weak? Like a stem of grass growing? Yeah, what did you expect to see? Someone dressed in fine clothes? Huh? Yes? People who wear fine clothes are all in King's Pilots. So that cannot be that cannot be the person you went to the wilderness. Is he a prophet? Yes. He is a prophet. But I tell you, he is more than a prophet. Please, if that your Bible is not a borrowed one, underline more than a prophet. What verse are we reading? Verse 10. He is more than a prophet. Read it. Continue. This scripture was written about him. I will send my messenger ahead of him. He will prepare the way. Anyone who has ever entered through the matrix, through the womb of a woman, 
John the Baptist is the greatest of all prophets. Even the small child that speaks in tongues, that is born again, that receives Christ in him, is greater than John the Baptist. John the Baptist is greater than all. You are greater than John. So you are greater than all. Go ahead. Until now. So it was not going forward by apology. It was advancing forcefully. <laughs> I pray for somebody here. I'll receive it, sir. What you need to take by reaction, may you not be buried by begging. Amen. That amen is looking for revival. Amen. In Mark chapter 1 verse 17, the Bible said he was to operate in the spirit of Elijah. Mm. That means he had the deposit capacity of Elijah. My friend, in his powers, he was loaded with frequencies that are greater than that of Elijah. Even Jesus said he was greater than Elijah. Yet, he was not meant to be imprisoned, yet he was imprisoned. He was not meant to be incarcerated, yet he was incarcerated. He was not meant to be limited, yet he was limited. He was not meant to be murdered, yet they murdered him. Sir, because he refused to react. Hey, listen, sir. He has capacity not to die like Elijah. But he chose not to react, so he died like the, like the death of a commoner. Hear this, sir. It was lack of reaction that gave his destiny that kind of frustration. It's lack of reaction that made his destiny look pitiable and made his conclusion a sad end. It was lack of reaction. Loaded. Capacity. Blessed. But died the death of a commoner. Because he lacked capacity for reaction. Peter sir. Wouldn't have walked on the water. If he had not reacted. He broke that limitation of natural forces. When he said to the master. If it is you. Bid I to come. Nobody said that. Only he reacted. So a mortal man walked upon the water by reaction. Ultimately, sir, the destinies of Samson was to vanquish the Philistine, to end the regime of the aggression of the Philistine. But he became limited in destiny by his weakness. He became an object of mockery and caricature. They made him to grand and made him to dance the dance of sinner. Until he reacted and said, Lord, this one more time. That I may advance of the Philistine for my two eyes. And the Bible said, the men he kill in reaction. We are more than the men he kill in action. Ooh, Somebody didn't hear hallelujah. what I said. The men he killed in reaction. We are more than men he kill in action. Yeah. Your action with that reaction hey. cannot give you maximum results. I hear you, sir. <laughs> so much that people he killed in reactions were more than the people he killed in his action my friend if Cain had not reacted he wouldn't have made meaning out of his life I'm telling you considering the weight of the limitation pronounced on him God said to him a vagabond and a fugitive God placed a vagabonic mantle on him he said, you'll be a wanderer upon the face of the earth. You'll be like a rolling stone without moisture. Mm. You will struggle without lifting your head. Sure. A permanent peg was put on him. A permanent limitation was put on him by a spirit called the deity himself. It was the deity, the monarch of the universe that looked at him and put a limit on his capacity to produce. The man looked at God. He looked at God. Standing before the judgment seat of God. He reacted. Hey. He said no. 
This judgment is bigger than I. Hey. And if you please this kind of course, can a man survive one minute? Hey. God, change the verdict. Hey. Change it. Change it. Change it. Lord, it was, I, I did it in error. Change it. The verdict is too much. The Bible said, and the Lord set a mark on his forehead and said, any man that slay Cain, seven judgment will come upon him. <laughs> By his reaction, hey. he went out of the presence of God and built a city, not a bungalow. He built a city, not an estate. He built a city, not a village. If a man under a cause of God can build a city, I don't know what cause the devil has cursed you. I don't know the ancestral generational curse that have limited you. But hear me, hear me well. God's cause and Satan cause, which is heavier? That was a peg put on, on, on Cain. But he broke it by reaction. Many of you will react this morning. Yeah. That, that, that level you are doesn't fit you anymore. Yeah. It's a limitation. That army barrack you call a house does not fit you anymore. Hey. That kiosk you call a shop. That kiosk you call supermarket Masa. it does not fit you anymore. Yeah. That your analog wardrobe is time for shift. I prophesy to somebody in the name that is above every other name. Yes. By your reaction this morning. Amen. Whatever need to live, we live. Amen. Whatever need to give way, we give way. Amen. Something greater, something heavier, Woo! something more blessed, something more anointed will answer to you this morning. Amen. I say it will answer to you this morning. Amen. Can I hear somebody shout? I hear, I hear. I hear, I hear. What is the reaction? Reaction is taking advantage of all that heaven have provided to manifest according to desired expectation. Reaction, I repeat, is taking advantage of all heaven have provided. Taking advantage of all that heaven have provided to advance your desired expectation. To advance your desired expectation. Samson took advantage of his grown hair. Hear me, sir. Believers took advantage of intercession to guarantee intervention for Peter's incarceration. Something took advantage of his grown hair to put an end to the mockery and to the assault of the Philistine. Can I talk to somebody here? Are you here with me this morning? Yes, sir. Hear me, you will take advantage Amen. of all your giving potential. Amen. You have done enough, convert it to a weapon. You have prayed enough, convert it to a weapon. Ah. Carry your giving and turn it to a defensive and an offensive weapon. Ah, Am I talking to somebody here? Yes, sir. Every apparatus God has given to you, ah. it is given so that you can assault the devil. Mm. Come on. That's why all the armament of warfare given to us. It's an armament of offense. Mm. They never gave us the armament of the back. Mm. Because God never expects you to turn your back from your enemies. Everything. The, the, the hamlet of salvation. The breastplate of righteousness. The shoes shone, the shoes shone for the preparation of the gospel of peace. The belt of truth. The shield of faith. The sword of the spirit. All of them are in front. There is nothing behind. He either put his hand to the plow. Hey! must not look back yes. if he looks back my soul have no pleasure. he ah. said from john until now hey. he said every man press it Fire. every man press it there is more in front of you than what you left behind the limitations of life don't break until somebody react you react with everything given to you mm. if you don't react you don't get your manifestations when Jesus rose, he gave gift to men. So those giftings were to take advantage of them to secure reactions. Greater is he that is in you is a reaction. When you know that scripture long enough, you take advantage of that scripture which is within you. Yes, that thing which is within you. Yes, Greater is he that is within you. That he that is in the world. When you unleash the potential of the greater is reaction. According to the power that worketh in us, when you unleash the power that worketh in you, that is a reaction. Yes, uh, to have a day can be looking for Panadol and not prayer, my queen, is a sign of lack of reaction. Jesus, prayer, my queen. To have somebody on that demonic torture 
I've been looking for who to pray for. At your age, you are still calling my telephone number. At your age. Five years of teaching you. You are calling me from National Hospital. You are very lucky. I should have slapped you through the phone. What are all these apparatus given to you? Hey. We gave you oil. We gave you salt. We gave you the covenant. We gave you tools. Aye. We gave you the word. We gave eye. We gave you agility. We gave you prognosis, adaptation, tranquilant mentality. You went out with abnormal. Your heart shifts. You were lionized. Hey. The situation came. You, you, you exhibited vegetable heartedness. Your open eyes when you want to cheat people. You have no open eye when you want to deal with the pastor devil. Oh my God. I pray for somebody here. I receive it. Before hell disgrace you. Uh -huh. Before the devil run you out of steam. Uh -huh. Receive capacity to react. Amen. Before you die in depression, rise out of the ashes Amen. and react in the name of Jesus. Amen. I was born to be great. I refuse to die small. I refuse to be broke. If nobody rises in my family, I will be the first. If nobody is succeeding, I will succeed. They say in retirement, nobody makes it. I will be the first to be a multi-millionaire in retirement. What nobody has done, I will be the I prophesy to somebody here from the front to the back by your reaction today you are coming out of poverty you are coming out of frustration you are coming out of that darkness lift up your hands and I react I react there are forces that exist in limitations if you lack reaction you will succumb you will succumb to those forces if you don't react sir you will be swallowed by the forces of wickedness if you don't react, sir, witches and wizards will turn you to suya. If you don't react. If you don't understand reaction, sir, you'll be limited by generational powers and the favorable conditions of life. Hear me? If you don't react, sir, witches will use your family as breakfast. When they finish, they will come after you. I don't know if I'm talking to somebody here. When they finish, finish your family, they will come after you. But I pray for somebody. I receive it. By your reaction to yes. it. Yes, Kalokos kaputa la palakatos kapayata la palakatos ka. Jeko li palakas. Hilako te li palakato manangaras. Let your reaction part manifestation. Amen. Let your reaction part me manifestation. Amen. Let your reaction part a manifestation. Amen. Lift up your hands. I react. I react. My friend, if you don't react, the promises of God concerning your life will be hijacked. The word of God will become a Bible story in your life. You will only be hearing other people's testimony, but nothing come near you. If you don't react, your barrenness will not give way. You must react and take his word as a weapon of war. Or else, you may never see the reality of your expectations. When Israel got tired of slavery, all they did was reacted. When they reacted, God sent Moses to deliver them. Suppose they didn't react. Moses will be wasting away. They are delivered until they are delivered and die. Hey, may your helper not die before he locate you. Amen. You didn't hear what I said. May your helper not die before he locate you. Amen. Hey, for, for 40 years, the deliverer was there. But it was their reaction. I have heard the cry of my people, which are now in Egypt, and I am come down. Without reaction, sir, things are going normal. Things will go the way they are. Aye. I'm telling if you don't react in midnight prayer Aye. every day, someday, sometimes I will reach my goal. Someday you will surely reach, but you will reach in the pit. Am I talking to somebody here? Yes, hear, hear me. You you pass here, no way. You pass here, no way. I watch some of some of some of people in the night VG. They are buried for five years, yet they are sleeping in prayer. Aye. Poverty is in their life, smelling. Yes, serious matters have been issue. They are sleeping. And I know why their life is like that. Come on one night in a month, they can't watch. So you can imagine what happens to them in their bedroom. There is no bed, only chair. They are falling. What if they see bed? On that chair, you are comfortable. What if you see bed? You will, you, you will die out. You will cross cloud nine. 
Oh, you, you, you love yourself too much. No reactions. That is why devils continue to manipulate and manipulate and manipulate and manipulate. The other day, a young, a, 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 or a robot partner, very supportive, was on oxygen and a robot appeared. And the 12-year-old son said, Pastor, welcome, welcome. My mom is dying. He said, no problem. He now spoke in tongues, spoke in tongues, spoke in tongues. The oxygen was still there. The oxygen was still there. So as he turned, she was fighting for breath. So the doctor put them out and they were pressing it and she gave up. He turned to the husband and said, sorry. Turned to the son, he said, sorry. The boy grabbed pastor's leg. One. He said, you go nowhere. My mom is half God. Who will take care of me? You are going nowhere. Our God must answer us today. Or a robot remove his suit. He said, if they ask you who is shouting in this hospital, say, or a robot is in the hospital. He began tongue six hours into tonguing. The woman entered her body by force. Somebody shout reaction. Reaction. Somebody shout reaction. Reaction. Can I talk to you, sir? If you don't react, there are things that can never work. I told you I was in Toronto, Canada, preaching when they brought a dead child on this altar. A woman brought her, her daughter, 17 years here. And Pastor Tajar, all have prayed. Nothing has happened. And so when they called me, I spoke in tongues for five minutes, ten minutes. Nothing happened. I said to her, Madam, begin to dance. If nothing happened, take the child to mortuary, and I'll be I will do the burial myself. Guess what the woman told me? No. No. I said, Why? I said that is not what you taught us. That is not what you taught us. No. I said, So what do you want? He said, I didn't come for you. I came for your God. I came for what? For your God. No. I said, Madam, no vex. Start the dance. And I off my phone. She started dancing and climbed, dance, dance. Someone handkerchief by mistake. Some mistakes are righteous mistakes. Ah, the protocols with their carefulness they didn't see the handkerchief. And she grabbed it, put it on that girl. The child sneezed back to life. Such that they were calling me, I refused to pick. Because I didn't want to hear that no. They no keep ringing my ear. No, that no was not a normal no. I felt it in my spirit. If I was there that day, we would converse on that altar. Because they know it was an insistence. They know it was a reaction. And they continue. The John text said, he has woken up. Quickly I call. What happened? So as they were dancing, the baby jacked back to life. Hear me and hear me well. I don't know who you are. I don't know how you came here. Some of you, I know you by face, but I don't know your condition. But God is telling me before this month expires, that limit shall be removed from your hair. That limit shall be removed from your life. Amen. Lift up your hands, sir. I react. I react. I can't hear you. I react. I can't hear you. I react. Can I talk to somebody talk here? To me, How can you be eating a bar? You are 42, no husband. How can you be eating a bar? At 10 years, no child to your name. Bayaka say, Rock of ages, clear for me. Let me hide myself in thee. How can you be a businessman and you can't pay house rent for 10 years? You have a company with nothing to show. I declare, if I be a man of God, something will give way out of your life. There shall be a reaction in the realm of the spirit. Amen. Favor is coming to your house. Amen. Money is coming to your life. Amen. You are a politician. They can't use you and throw you. Aye. It's time to react. Yes, sir. It's time to react. Yes, sir. Abraham said to God in Genesis 15, How shall this thing be? Saying that I go childless. Aye. That was the reaction. Is it Eliezer, the son of Damascus? That shall be my hair. He reacted. God said, okay, cut you two doves. Make some sacrifice. Let me activate your manifestations. Hear me, sir. For every action, there is an equal reaction. There is a what? An equal reaction. Hear me, sir. It was when the church reacted in the case of Peter that the priest could no more hold Peter. The priest released Peter. Sir, if the church had not reacted, 
Peter would have died the way of James. The Bible said, but the church prayed for Peter. The church said, not Peter. I prophesy not to you. Not me. You are not that kind of thing. Hey, hey. You can't suffer their faith. Amen. You can't have their experience. Amen. They say all that suffer like that. Like minus me. you. Hallelujah. React. Unfruitfulness is continuing your life. You are quiet. React. Part of these things on the altar is our reaction. This fruit is because it's fruitful because the tree was fruitful. Yes. This fruit is here because the tree was what? Fruitful. If the tree was barren, we'll see fruits. I declare in the name of Jesus. I receive it. Any area of your life that limit need to be removed. Ah. Today is removed. Amen. Ah, I say to be removed. Amen. I say to be removed. Amen. Many of you, it's time to react. Husband, if you don't react, your wife can be devoured by strange spirits. If you don't react. Your children will be a stranger in your house if you don't react. How can your child be going wayward and you're quiet? You get back to the child. Raise your hand and speak. Carry a child for nine months and the child is an arm robber. Your daughter turned prostitute. He said, I saw we see him. No. no. Not the one that came from my womb. There is a covenant over the head of my child. Yes, sir. Le Koalabas. Hey. Speak some tongues. Hallelujah. Susanna Wesley prayed one hour every day. Did she pray 19 children to the kingdom? She came back to 19 children. And all of them became born again. That today we have John Wesley and Charles Wesley. The founder of Methodist Church. Came out of the womb of that woman. She prayed one hour every day for more than 60 years. She prayed the children into the kingdom. She created their assignment before they were born. She reacted. She made sure hell does not touch them. Anna, by her reaction, broke barrenness of 24 years. She's been going to Sheila for more than 20 years. Nothing to show. The same priest, the same ally, the same altar, but no testimony. What was the different reaction? That was the Sheila. She said, I am not going back hey. until I carry my testimony. She reacted. People they pick on prophecy is not a guesswork, it's their reaction. You heard that girl that was picked there that they broke, cut that thing out. She said, Lord, today the man must talk. He must handpick me. He must speak to me, Father. There must be a word for me, Lord. I need a word. I am at a crossroads. Speak to me, Lord Jesus. Reaction. Reaction, sir. Reaction. Reaction. Sir, you have it's time to react. Because for every action, sir. There is an equal reaction. For every move you make, Satan will react to match it with fire. That is why you also must react for every move Satan makes. Is somebody hearing what I'm saying? Because if God sponsors your destiny, Satan will do anything to limit it. If God is a sponsor of your destiny, Satan will do anything to sabotage that destiny. Somebody hear what I'm saying here? Everyone that will give up easily will go down easily. If you give up easily, it means you will go down easily. Life is for the prognosis. Life is for the adaptions. Life is for the tranquilant. Life is not fair. Life does not play game fair. Even God does not fair. Because if you don't react, you may even think that God is not fair. Everyone that ever rose, rose up because they were tenacious. No matter your pressure, be tenacious. Be result oriented. In every pursuit of life, I pray for somebody. I else. receive it, sir. Receive the mantle, the fire. Amen. The impetus. Amen. To react. Amen. To break certain cocoons. Amen. Break certain cocoons. Amen. React. I entered just with 14 naira Mongo Park suit. I'm call it I left Uyo, Dr. Damina, to start the work oh. in Joss. When I entered Joss 1993 to kickstart the work with 14 naira. Go back to that man, call it that. Have a belly belt. I had only one suit. If you see the suit, eh, all the inner layer I've got, I make contour behind my back. The tail of the suit is flying like a parachute. So, that we reach my destination, the suit is still on the way coming. So, that if I'm coming from afar, you think it's three people that are coming at once because the suit made me look like I have a hunchback. One day I got angry, I said, Two cannot work together. I said, They agree. 
I yanked up the suit and said, I ain't gonna wear you. You are fired. You are what? Fired. Fire. Someone say reaction. Hey. Someone say reaction. Reaction. I wore one trouser, one shirt for seven months. One day I finished bathing, want to wear the trouser, it was smelling. I carried the trouser. It was smelling the shirt. I say, trouser, if you have power, wear yourself. <laughs> shirt, if you have power, wear yourself. Yeah, yourself. They were looking at me and say, you are fired. You are fired. You are fired. You are fired. I ain't gonna wear you. I became brother rapper for three days. Not knowing that God has spoken to somebody to buy me shirt and trousers. Seven shirt, seven trousers. The brother was asking God for 15 signs. Jesus. Lord, if it's true, you want me to give this man of God this thing. Show me this sign. Show me this. God was busy confirming signs. Me, I was wearing rapper. For a stubborn brother that will not hear God on time. Finally, he brought the trouser. By my reaction, I broke the backbone of poverty. Kabbalah. My family, when you reach 30 years, you go down, no matter who you are, you begin to beg. You begin to do what? Beg. At that age, 30, they demolished my church on a Saturday morning, evening, around 5.30. Every, from, 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 from 1,500 to, to, to less than 80. Went to a primary school, everything was going haywire. This is a man that was blessed. Ask God what is he said, break it out. He said, by reaction, what do you want me to do? He said, give out your seven cars at once and trek. Have you seen where a man carries seven cars and give one day? I did that. I gave it all out and God dealt with me. He made sure I trek for one year, six months without a car to show me my heart, to, to reveal my heart. Some of your gift is going to your future to wait for you. To deal with certain pride and confidence. Hey, hey. But today, people are giving me over 250 cars. I, I have dashed out cars like Dricky Coke. Is somebody hearing what I'm saying here? Yes, sir. But then, it didn't look like anything good will ever come out of me. But by my reaction, I broke that poverty. I broke that generational power that is making demands on my life. My friend, if you are not mad, there are mad devils you can cast. Ah. Oh my God. Yalla. Dr. Damina said he got through praying in tongues in Gombe State well, many years ago. He spoke in tongues for six hours. Came out and was going towards the runabout of, uh, I can't remember that runabout. Uh, there's a major runabout. Uh, they call it runabout those days. I don't know the name now. One go to the Emir Palace. The other one go to the government house. The other one go to General Hospital. Whatever name you, you call them. Yes. He was advancing towards that. And a madman was flogging people coming towards his direction. And people were running. And, and he too turned to run. The Holy Ghost said, where are you going? He said, can't you say madman? The Holy Ghost said, are you not a madman? He said, of course, of the highest order. For the spiritual man is mad. He said, you to turn mad. Because it takes mad madness to arrest madness. <laughs> yes. He said, you to turn mad. How can you run from a madman after tonguing for six hours? So he started Nyangama, Shantu Miandushia. A young man, do Miangaba. He could do Yandosh. The other madman saw another madman. Yeah, Shanto. The other one said, Yeah, Nyangom or not. The original madman turned back and started running. He pursued him in tongues. You must give way. Am I talking to somebody here? Yes, sir. If you are not mad, you can't manifest. 1992. We were face to face with O.O. Booze. We were coming at, uh, uh, from uh, when you bust out from Akar Road into Oron Road. That, that junction. Uh, sorry, uh, Udomana Junction into the Oron Road. Uh, guess what I saw? We saw O.O. Booze all in their reds. They were advancing. And guess what? It was 2.30 a.m. They were about 200. They were taking charge of the land and God told us to take charge of the land. So we were in tongues. We were divided into three groups. Dr. Ebe went to one. Joe Dubre went to one. And I went to one. This is my own group now. Encounter these people. They were coming. We were coming. But the rest of people who were from that area say, Sir, let's turn back. These people are the occultic people in this town. I say, no way. Today is face to face. Hey. I say, all of you release your intercontinental ballistic missiles. Someone shall react. React. Someone shall react. React. I say all of you start in tongues. Me, I will attack the men man. 
is my hand. When you reach there, lay hands on them. Straight. Start. We will conduct deliverance on the streets. 2.30 a.m. You will tell us what you are doing on the streets. 2.30 a.m. Since it's power, let power jam. Power. Kela Bakato. Kelebush. Everybody release their intercontinental ballistic missile. Rekotoko. Bapabaraga. Hiligede. Asata Numan Dumingada. Dushia. Bushege. Vebu. Akwatoba. Kelabash. When we were 20 meters close to each other, they all turned back and started running. I looked for their leader and followed him. He fell inside a gutter and followed him there. Let your basin book and say, Fire! The Kosaya! The Kwadaya! The Kwadaya! I prophesy to somebody ah, by your reaction today. Yes, sir. Whatever has eaten deep into your progress, Kabaya. eating deep into your marriage, yes, sir. today that power loses its hold. Amen. That power loses its hold. Amen. Give your neighbor high five shout. I react. I react. Ooh. I react. They are calling you five there, baby face, baby face, you are happy. 28, baby face. 32, baby face. 34, baby face. They are still shaking that waist. You should soon be stiff, my friend. You better rise up. You will not always be young. Kaya Shaya, hold that waist and deal with that bastard devil. Enough is enough. Unbelievers don't know God have husbands to marry. Me, I sing in church, I dance in church, and yet I can't have one. That devil is a bastard. Oh, hear me, sir. Red eyes is stronger than prophecy. Yeah. Ah. Glory. Mm. A man can carry prophecy without red eyes and die without seeing his manifestation. Another man can be without prophecy and have red eyes and collect your prophecy and chop it. My God. The father said, I have given everything to Jacob. Jacob will be bigger than you. Jesus says, is that so? He says, not even one. He says, not one. He says, Father, just one. You gave him ten blessings. Give me one. He says, son, nothing. He said, daddy, I beg. The Bible says he went from morning till evening. The father said, okay, kneel down. He said, only one blessing. It shall come to pass when you grow restless. When you react. That word restless means when you react, you will break the yoke of your brother. Of your neck. Until then, you still serve your brother. When Esau left, he look around and say, I swear, the day my father died, Jacob, get ready to follow my father. Because two captains cannot be in one boat. He said, that me or you. You took my blessing, you go follow my father. When Jacob saw his eyes, the mother called and said, JJ, go stay for my uncle's house. The way your brother's eyes, they look, no be normal eyes. If he kill you, go stay for my uncle. Until these eyes change and turn to milk color. Don't come back home. Oh, because this your brother. Your eye don't change. Woo! Somebody shout red eyes. Red eyes. Five years after Jacob called his mother. Mama, your eye don't change. He said it's still red. He said remain there. Twenty years after mama. He said it's still red. The guy is still chopping. Isaac have died. The boy has taken over everything. Enjoying his inheritance with red eyes. The man with prophecy is still serving. Then Jacob cried and reacted. He reacted. He said, Lord, what will you give me? What will you give me? He said, this man have changed my wages seven times, ten times. How will you help me? And the Lord said to him, this night move. And when he moved, God gave him an encounter by the river Jabok and broke the backbone of, of limitation in his life. Sir, are you aware by prophecy, Esau was supposed to bow down to Jacob. But do you know the day they met 21 years after? It was Jacob that bowed to Esau seven times because of the redness of Esau's eyes. Oh, Am I talking to somebody here? Yes, sir. Esau's eye was, was on a permanent red frequency, red flag, red card. Permanently. Hear what Jacob said when he was praying that morning. He said, Lord, I fear Esau. Lord, help me. I fear my brother. I fear Esau. Lord help me. That was a man that fought with angel and fought with God and prevailed. Yet there was a mortal man he feared. Hey. Red eyes. Red eyes. He sent 1,000 she goats. 7,000 animals ahead of him to give Esau. 
He shall say, me too, I am blessed. Collect your blessing. You gave me one meal. I suffer for years. You want to give me another one? Take them back. Collect them back. Not every free gift is a good gift. Some of you young ladies, you like free gift as if you are cause. Everything. Give me food. Give me research. Give me perfume. You, you, you should exchange your destiny. You like free things. The man tells you, I love you. The next thing is a text. You know, I've been having something I want to tell you. Now there they start. And the man says, okay, feel free. God, if he doesn't say, you will look like a wicked man. Feel free. Uh, there is this rent I have not paid. So if you didn't see him, he won't pay rent. <laughs> Lazy girl. That's why at 35, you don't know your future. At 35, you that was growing, you don't know your future. Because you carry your life and put it in the hand of somebody. Judges 12, he said, when I saw that no man was ready to help me, I took my life in my hand. Am I talking to somebody yes, here? Papa. It's time to take your life in your hand. Yes. Hey. If you are begging at 32, what will you be doing at 62? That means you put inside wheelbarrow. Go back, go back, go back, go back. Inside wheelbarrow, assist. If at 32 you are begging. Hey! Somebody say I react. I react. You turn here, married men are toasting you. Married men are toasting you. Married men say enough. Enough. I react. You bastard devil. Whatever is entering their head like Brukutu, let it depart. Amen. I command your God begin to come by reaction. Amen. You can marry even now. You, yeah, you can have wedding without dating. Yes, sir. By your reaction. Yeah. What has never been normal to people can be normal to you. Oh, yes, sir. The realm of the spirit is not for normal people. Spiritual realms are protocol breaking realms. Hey. The realm of the spirit breaks protocols. You react. I react, I react sir. No, I didn't hear your voice. I react, sir. Some of you are still gentle looking at me like native doctors. Shout, I react. I react. How do you react? Number one, by being brutal against destiny limitation. By building a reputation of a forceful man. By being brutal against what? Destiny limitation. By building a reputation of, of being a forceful person. How can a man be greater than all the prophets and be incarcerated in prison? He sat with capacity in prison. <laughs> He sat with audacity in prison. He died like an ordinary man. Can you carry capacity and be begging? Our purpose is not for survivor. Every child of God. Your purpose is for significance. How is life will they survive? That is for unbelievers. You are not meant to survive here. You are meant to live a significant life. Fulfilling destiny. Accomplishing your purpose. As you see me, so even at 30,000, they will give me a way manage. Is that how your brain have died? Your brain have died. You are collecting the salary of a villager, a megad. That stand in people's gates. Collect more salary than you a graduate. Because your brain refused to think. You are waiting for someone to hire you as secretary. For 30,000. When you can activate your spiritual senses and your mental mentula on blankantus, not on blankanta, on blankantus. The higher realm of operations. My God. As if with his recharge card, you get more than 30,000 in a month. Only forceful men survive destiny limitations. Well, you are waiting for God to turn things around. God is actually waiting for you to turn things around. Yeah, you, sir. Well, John was waiting for Jesus to come and release him. Jesus was waiting for John to release himself. Do you know John's offense? He said, go and ask him, is he the one or we should look for another? Why? Because he was waiting for Jesus to come and set him free. He has exalted Jesus. Jesus' ministry is prospering. Now it's Jesus' turn. One turn deserve another. That's a lot of you. You have this ownership mentality. This I deserve it mentality. Listen, if there's any pastor that should be depressed, you will be me. If you know how many thousands of pastors I have helped. That never came here to tell me thank you. Oh God. They were not in nobodies. Squatters. 
today multi-millionaires. They never came here one day to say thank you to me. It didn't change me. Because I don't have ownership mentality. What is not my own is not my own. I am contented what God has given to me and every man will run his race at his own lane. I hear you, sir. Oh. There are sounds that if I go to their houses, I see 12 cars packed. Some tear robbers. I never ask them, give me one. I'm not a needy. I bless all the cars, bless the house, and I walk away. These are worldly things. They are not our true value. It is when we appear in eternity at the portals of glory. Then we will know where our investments are going. Yes, yes sir. So hear me. This, 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 my right. My uncle, my uncle, he has refused to owe me. Your uncle does not owe you nothing. I hear you, sir. They went abroad and forgot me. In fact, they should forget, not even forget you. Because for God is graduated for God. I mean, for God is graduated for God. For God means even they remind you, you will remember. But for God, even they remind you, you refuse to remember. <laughs> they let them forget you. Because some of you, if they don't forget you, your brain will come back. The Bible said the prodigal son came out of that bondage by reaction. Oh, by, reaction. by reaction. The Bible said in Luke chapter 15 verse 16, he would have faint to feed his belly. That means anytime he eats on his belly, he faint getting it. He crawled getting it. Look at it. He would have faint getting it. He faint in getting anything from even the food that pigs eat. Mm. Then he shouted, how many hired servants? Does my father have and they have enough to eat and live? Oh. And I stay here and die. I oh. will arise. That oh. is reaction. Reaction. That is reaction. Pastor, if you don't react, your members, your church will not grow. Reaction. Fight. Fight. Somebody say you are doing one million program. Keep doing it. Until you break the cocoons. Luke 15, 16. Yes, sir. And he would fain. He would have faint. Have filled his belly. Fill his belly. With the husk. Yes. That the swine did eat. This horse that and no swine. man gave unto him. No man gave unto him. This favor followed him. This favor haunted him. No man gave. Then the next verse says, and when he came to himself. And when he came to himself, he said, he said How many hired servants of my reaction. fathers said, have bread enough? Said, hear me. And the spare. action begins when you talk to yourself. Mm. Tell yourself, Joshua Talena, sit down. Why are you still in this level? Joshua Dalina, sit down. Why are your mate getting married? You are not married. Every day, home village, village people, home village attack. My sister, we are broken courses. You even sneak to other churches. They broke it for you. Six months after you came and sat down, Tishuru, as if nothing has happened. To tell you that your problem is not in the hand of pastor, your solutions. Oh, God. You were run about. Yeah, there's fire in Kubwa, you ran there. Fire in, Met in Metama, you ran there. There's another one, if they see you to Intesta, you don't reach there. In Maraba. They say there's another one, you go even call your village. Even the food you eat and the tomatoes, the amount of tomatoes they cook the food, you don't reach there. They call another one, Papa C, Mama C, you did there. With all they see, nothing has happened to your life. Because God requires your personal responsibility. Your personal responsibility. Your reaction to bad testimonies. Lift up your hand, shout, I react. I react. I can't hear you, shout. I react. I can't hear you again. I react. Nobody, nobody, I repeat, has power to limit you. I'm telling you, John was greater than all the prophets put together. <laughs> if I have not heard this from the mouth of Jesus I would have think it's a lie pastor are you aware it was Jesus that said among those that are born of human being nobody is greater than John if it was not from the mouth of Jesus me I won't believe it see how he died casually loaded the lack of reactions that you are sick and you are not healed doesn't mean God has stopped healing people that you are sick and you are not healed doesn't mean God is a liar. Because when you are still complaining, God is still healing more people. Sick people are getting healed. 
Your problem is you have not activated. One of the limitations you must deal with is the limitation of unfruitfulness. You must be brutal against the spirit of unfruitfulness. You must deal with unfruitfulness because it makes a person to lack destiny possibilities. Unfruitfulness. When unfruitfulness abounds, sir, it makes you to live in permanent disappointment. When you are fruitful in life, sir, you express inadequacy and dysfunctional life. Inadequate and dysfunctional life. When there is unfruitfulness, sir, you are distracted in pursuit. Because nothing just works in that direction where your life has been rendered unfruitful. But tonight, this morning, we will react. So you react Amen. by being brutally forceful, aggressive. Gentility in the physical is a blessing. But gentility in the spirit is a curse. If you are gentle, the physical is a virtue. But in the spirit, gentility is a curse. You need to be pugnacious, audacious, and tranquilent in your mentality. Hmm. Number two, how do I react as a random? By fortifying your spirit and building destiny shock absorber. Hmm. Fortify your spirit and build up destiny shock absorbers. If you must break limitations of life, you must take advantage of what I call fortifying of your spirit. One of the ways to fortify your spirit is by praying in tongues. Building up your most holy faith. Praying in the Holy Ghost. How do you fortify your spirit? By deep worship. Those all night we attended last the few days ago, two days ago, was the fortification of our spirit. Look how the atmosphere was so thick and congealed. The atmosphere was thick in worship. We were worshiping God. What we are doing now, we are building our spirituality and depths in the spirit. Fortify your spirit. It's very important, sir. Very, very important. Very important when you fortify your spirit. Sir, you must insist on developing spiritual shock absorber. Men are not known by what you see. Men are known by what attacks them. Nobody can limit God. You can only limit your possibilities in God by not fortifying your spirit and developing shock absorbers. The thing goat saw the goat saw and, and kept quiet. Dog saw half of it is shouting in the night till daybreak. Woo, 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 till daybreak. <laughs> Yet the goat saw it and kept quiet till daybreak. The witches the dog saw, the dog goat saw it. And what didn't make move? Dedicate your life to making your destiny a reality. Because many of you have, have hazard commitment. That is the reason. It's suicidal to destiny. The reason why many are not progressing in life. Keep rise, raising the bar for every destiny fight. When you fight the bear, look for the lion. When you finish with the lion, look for Goliath. Until the whole nation hears your voice. Am I talking to somebody here? Yes, sir. Build destiny up, a shock absorber. Because life pressure will shake you out. A shock absorber that, that, that keeps a car sustained whenever it enters potholes. Life is full of many potholes. If you lack shock absorber, you'll be paralyzed by one battle that comes on you. But with shock absorber, you come past them. You are not what people will name you. You are not what people call you. You are what you see yourself. So make up your mind to rise above the highest point of your destiny in everything. Make up your mind. Be, build up your spirit. Develop shock absorber. Where you hear somebody say something about you, say, I've heard it. Don't bother. Not the one say, I know go agree. Oh, I know go agree. Bring her here. This one, come here. Oh yeah, you, you said this. Ah, but how long? Only one talk. You gather 10 people. Then tomorrow you have another one. You gotta have 15 people. You can see you are you already you are you you, you are chicken hearted. Oh. How do I react by mobilizing number three? Mobilize covenant altar and take every battle beyond the physical realm. Mobilize covenant altar. Take the battle beyond every physical realm. Mobilize covenant altar. Take the battle beyond every physical realm. Is somebody hearing what I'm saying? Have a covenant with your altar. The altar of God. Sometimes come here and lie down. Some of you have never made contact with this altar since you've been coming. All you do after church, you are running as if you are possessed. <laughs> the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God. So before you say sweet fellowship, you don't open your car. Where are you running to? Oh. Sometimes let them finish church. Sit down. As they are going, advance. And then kneel down. It's only you, Jesus. It's only you. It's only you, Jesus.
is only you. Kaka yo Yahweh. Kaka yo. And then from there you keep worshipping. Making contact with your altar. Sowing dangerous seed. Servicing your altar. With some dangerous things. Looking for a need in the house of God. Service it. Change the chairs. Recharge the phone of your man of God. Look at the AC. Change it. Be mobilizing covenant altars by feeding your altars. The reason is because a day we come, your altar will need to speak for you. Because there are battles you can't fight. Only your altar can fight it for you. Because there are battles that fight us. They came from heavy altars. They are fired from altars. They are not fired from an individual bedroom. They, you were summoned by a deity. You are summoned by the gatherings of spirits. Here is the gathering of just men made perfect. Here is a gathering of an innumerable company of angels. Here is where God the judge. Here is where the blood and sprinkling speaketh. More better things than the blood of Abel. So mobilize your altar. Because altar is a system that implicates divinity by human involvement. It's a system that implicates divinity by human participation. When a man participates in that system called altar, the altar automatically implicates itself by engaging in the fight of that man. So altars are human constructions with the intention of divine involvement for the purpose of supernatural manifestation, directions, and provisions. So what does, what does altar do for us? It enables us. It empowers us. It energizes us. It guarantees angelic assistance and supernatural help, spiritual interventions. Altars, sir, the assignment is to release the possibilities of your destinies. Every time you are confronted with limitation, altars release the possibilities of your destiny. If you look at Mark 11, the donkey that was tied, it was tied by an altar. It was altar that secured the limitation of that donkey. We had two road meet under a tree. A tree enough is enough. Is in, under a tree is already a gate. It's already a gate. Then two road meet. In a village, 80% of the battles men fight are from the village. Village, two road. We are uh, to a junction where two road meet under a tree. Three demonic shrines held the donkey in Matthew chapter 21, verse 1. The Bible says it was not only the donkey and had picking. The donkey and accord was tied. The thing, the thing that tied Mama tied picking kept them on a hold. It took a, a deity himself. He said, Go to a a road called straight over against you into a village where two road met under a tree there is a cord that loose him there are men who secure that cord they will ask you why lose the cord said the master is in need of it there's a need for your destiny yes sir. anywhere they have limited you yes. i break that limitation in the name of jesus yes, command your life to come out of every cocoon. Amen. Come out of every confinement. Amen. Come out of every resistance. Amen. Come out of every barrier. Amen. Come out of every obstacle. Amen. Somebody shall fire. fire. Somebody say, Lord, Lord let, the Lord. Altar let the altar speak for me. Speak for me. A man in Enugu is a Catholic man. Anytime he drives, he passes a street. He saw a pastor's clapping hand under one small canopy. As he turned, you hear a voice, build them a church. He passed again. He heard a voice. Build them a church. The next week he was passing. He heard, build them a church. He told the driver, driver, from today, don't follow this road. How can the voice be disturbing me with these mushroom, mushroom pastors, these 419 fake men of God? He said, pass another road. I don't, you are banned from this road. So he was passing another road. Two weeks after, where they passed, there was a jam. Trailer blocked the road. They had to follow. He said, okay, no, 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 save this road. He said, okay, follow. As a reason, I said, Build them a church. Build them a church. He got angry. He dropped. He said, where's the pastor? He says, he said, is this your land? He says, he said, I don't even like your face. If I don't like Pentecostal pastors. But now, something's in my building a church. Oh, yeah, give me the cost. I gave the cost. He built. Finished the church. On the day of dedication, the man came and joined with his friends and dedicated the church. Three months after, the man died. The man did what? Died. As they were in the hospital, the wife said, no way. She put him in the car. 
and brought him to that church and dropped him there. That was how the man came back to life. Hey. Death was waiting for him. God was preparing to harass death. Sometimes the things God tells you to do is for your future. Your disobedience is the reason why you are stranded when evil day comes. Because there is a day called an evil day. An evil day is a day that Satan pays a man a compulsory visit. And when Satan comes, what happens is the altars that speak to you. Many limitations are happen, they happen to us in our evil day. What happened? What, how we come out and one go our way out of certain conditions in our evil day? It's a functionality of our reaction towards the altar. So how do I react in the spirit? I react by mobilizing covenant altar and speaking and servicing the altar of God consistently. Never say it is too much. Never say I am tired. Never say I've done for God enough. Nobody can outgive God. Nobody can outplay God. Keep doing that. Keep doing that. Keep doing that. Keep doing that. Prophet Kofi called me. He says, sir, can you talk to our bishop, Margaret Dahosa? I say, uh, I know the son. So he says, sir, I saw what Bishop Edipo is doing. The Lord said I should give my private jet to carry her. If, because if the husband is alive, he would have several jets. Anywhere he is going in the whole Caribbean, she's going to the Caribbean, the whole of US, the whole of Canada, the whole of the Bahamas, all of the islands, even to Brazil. He said, I will give my private jet with the captains to fly her. So I called the son. He was so excited, thanking me. And I connected them together. The man was in Canada. But the Lord impressed in his heart to mobilize an altar. The man was there though. But the wife and the sons and the children are still reaping his good wills. His good wills. Mobilizing covenant altar. Even when he was dead, the university couldn't pay the school, uh, school fees of professors. To be sure they put that paid for two years on a stretch before they could find feet. When they wanted to expand, uh, I me gave one. He gave one billion to extend. Why are they servicing that man's altar? Why? Because of generational mantles. It is what breaks certain limitations in people's life. Any day God wants to take you from your limited level to another realm, he will show you a man. That is a message for another day. Rise on your feet.